the previous video, we looked at auto layouts and we set up our About Rottweilers page to display well on both a iPhone and we also looked at it on an iPhone 10 and a half inch. We were able to set up so that the objects conformed accordingly to the device. But what if we rotate this? I'm going to bring up the navigator panel once more. And let's make sure that we've got this set up so it can rotate. So I'm going to say landscape left and landscape right. Return to the storyboard. And once again, I'll hide the navigation panel. So if I were to add another preview for the iPhone 8, but this time look at it in landscape mode, it doesn't look so good. And we can see that basically it took our image and scrunched it up um, because it allowed the last object to take precedence in terms of the constraints. And usually the middle object will be the one that is compressed when we have constraints at top and bottom. So we need to be able to set up different constraints for landscape versus portrait. I'm just going to delete this for now. Go back to our view here. And as you recall, we set up constraints for each of our objects. I'm going to change the orientation to be landscape. And there's a button down here uh, in our various device views. It says vary for traits. And this was new in, I believe, Xcode 8. It allows us to set up what's called adaptive layouts. So if we look at the iPhone in landscape orientation, notice that the width is compact and the height is compact. But if we look at it in portrait, the width is compact, but the portrait is regular. So there's a difference in the height proportion for landscape and portrait. And that's the trait that I can build upon to make this look different in landscape versus portrait mode. I'm going to click the very for traits and I'm going to choose height. The height is the one that's different between landscape and orientations, compact versus regular. So we're looking at our iPhone 8. I could choose other devices here if I wanted. I'm going to take that text view and we set up a bunch of constraints. I'm going to select all of them and just delete them. I could modify them. I find it easier just to kind of start over. And when I do that, it releases the constraints and it's no longer tied to the bottom and I can now see the image is constrained and it's it's basically trying to do a uh, aspect ratio. So it's actually going below our device. But at least I can now see the image pretty well. I can select it. I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit for now in both directions. I'm going to want that image to appear on the left hand side. And I can set constraints then for that image. So again for the image I'm going to remove the current constraints that are there and add some constraints. I'm going to do 10 points from the label. That's our about Rottweilers. I'm going to do 35 pixels from the left hand side. Let's just make 35 pixels from the bottom. So that's our safe area. And again, I want to maintain the aspect ratio. Now, it's going to take it as 294 by 300 because I just resized the image. Let's go ahead and make this 300 by 300. I'm not going to set that up as a constraint, but I will set the aspect ratio. And hopefully it'll come out as one to one. So we have four constraints, top, left, bottom, and an aspect ratio. I'm going to say add constraints. And we get those constraints here. The aspect ratio came out as 49 to 50. It's almost there. I'm just going to edit it and let's make it one to one. Then I'm going to take the text view. I'm going to move it over so that it's to the right of our image. I'm going to shrink it up a little bit. And let's set the constraints for that. 
So my constraints for this one, again, I'm going to use 10 pixels from the label. 35 pixels to the right-hand side. Let's do 35 pixels to the bottom. And then I'm going to do, um, say, 20 pixels from the image. So there's my image view. So I have four constraints there. I'm just going to say add four constraints. And I'm done now making the constraints on my landscape orientation. So I'm going to click the button down at the bottom. This is done varying. And let's go to our preview. Now I'm going to add a preview for iPhone 8. This is going to be in landscape. And it now looks pretty good in landscape mode. I can verify the layout using the simulator. So I'm going to run this in the iPhone 8. There it is in portrait view. And if I go to the hardware menu and choose rotate right there it is in landscape view and kind of see the animation that takes place there as it rotates these objects or moves them around you roll back take back to portrait so there we have a layout that looks good both landscape and portrait using adaptive layouts